in this video I want to talk about a plugin called Activity Log. So if you're getting any weird activity on your website and you want to know who's making the changes or why it's happening, then Activity Log is really useful. So I've installed the plugin and this is what we get. It gives you the time and date of any activity logged, who did it, the IP address of where that happens, which is important and I'll talk about that a little later on type of activity so in this case it was a post it was updated and that's the name of the post in question so it's just telling us I'm, I'm busy writing this new blog post so that's all all fine and normal nothing to be worried about if we scroll down we can see some other activity without a user so what's happening here is somebody is trying to log in from this IP address using that username and they've added the wrong password I'm not too concerned about that because I know which IP address that is. That's mine, so that's not really an issue. You see, we've got all sorts of different things. So this chat, chat the offer WordPress was deactivated, and so on. Let's go into the logs a bit where there are some unusual is issues. Now here we can see something's happening from a different IP address. Logged in as me. From that IP address, and what they've done is they've updated the plugin. Now, that sh would normally cause me some, some concerns because somebody's logged in with my ID from a weird IP address. But I can uh, eliminate that because that's just my managed WP system that automatically updates my plugin, so not nothing to worry. But it's that kind of thing you would be looking for to spot any issues. Again, I'm typing the wrong password in, so nothing to be worried about there. Um, now this is a bit unusual. A new user's been created. Now, if you're not expecting new users to be created, that's the kind of flag you would look for and spot. Again, these all look valid. But I know for the down is a, a weird one. Um, here it is somebody from this IP address is trying to log in as the admin so that looks like a, an attempt to hack my site somebody's trying to log in as the admin user but obviously they've failed there's some settings that come with this plugin so if we go to actively log settings like I said in the blog post you don't want unlimited number of days being kept because it will keep a lot of data so you can set the number of days to keep logs for 30 days you can clear it all down and the other really useful option is an email notification so instead of just sitting watching the logs you can set up a, an email if for example a user equal to Joseph does something I can get an email um, or so if somebody trashed a blog post for example we can get an alert so this is really useful I've used this in uh, situations such as monitoring for hacks uh, where not um, malicious changes have been made but somebody just wasn't aware that starting and stopping plugins cause problems and I've also used it where a plugin was causing issues by running certain jobs on the site so we're able to spot which plugin was causing issues. Really useful to monitor and keep an eye on what's happening on your site. Thanks a lot, bye for now.